Hello and welcome to my channel, Intuitive Envisions 1111. Uh, I'm, I'm just so excited right now. Um, I'm going to be showing my cards. Um, I've made them available for pre-order on my site, intuitiveenvisions.com. And so I'm going to start this out by uh, going through all the uh, decks here. I mean, all the cards here. And then I'll do like a little mini read example um, at the end. Um, if someone wants to time stamp it for the little uh, mini reading at the end, um, you can go ahead and do so this this time. Um, I don't really encourage anybody to put um, time stamps in the beginning of any of my other videos because I feel the message is important. So just for this particular thing, since this is uh, through the uh, a deck flip through um, reading with just a little mini read of how to do it at the end. You can go ahead and do it if um, if you like. But like I said, for anything future, I will just probably delete it. <laughs> so um, if you want to bring my attention to something in the reading, like one time someone showed me that there was like a voice uh, in the video, that is fine too. Okay, so um, what um, these are my new cards. Um, now, first of all, thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And um, those of you uh, new just tuning in, this is something unique. This is not something I normally do. This is my brand new deck. So it is called um, Twin Flame uh, Messages. So um, Intuitive Envisions 1111 Twin Flame Messages to uh, be exact. So this is the front of the card here. And um, this is one of the, the back. Uh, Dark Knight of the Soul is one of them. Um, also included with the cards. Um, there's a thank you card for me in here. Just says thank you for your support of my deck. Peace, love, and light, Raquel. Intuitive Envisions 1111. IntuitiveEnvisions.com. So I'm going to go ahead and show you why I have this BB tote here. Um, for the first 33, and this is going to be just based on United States only. Um, sorry, I'm not able to offer international at this time, maybe in the future. But what I'm doing for the first pre-orders of my deck uh, the first 33, um, if I'm able to get more later, I may change it. But for the first three, 33 uh, pre-orders, I'm going to be giving this uh, BB tote um, with the um, with the deck that you order. It can fit like um, up to like two decks in here, two regular size decks um, in here. Just kind of goes, you know, like this, like if you're putting these cards here and um, these cards... And you just close them you know you can put your little uh other things in there besides the deck in there you know your purse or whatever but as you can see like it says bb right there on, on the tote so anyway i'm going to be giving away uh at least 33 of those uh free for uh, those of you that uh, pre-order on um, the shipments will be going out um at the end of april Okay, so I just wanted to let you know. So the first 33 will get this uh, free BB tote. You could also, this is also a travel document holder. So you could use this for traveling too, for like your passports or whatever. So these cards um, can be used for any reading. They don't have to be used for just Twin Flame, but they are designed for Twin Flame messages, but you can use them in other readings. So I just wanted to make sure I pointed that out. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through the um, deck and um, show you um, basically how these cards mean, how I uh, design them to mean. So Dark Knight of the Soul is basically kind of, you know, this, the, the um, same energy as kind of the, the devil energy, but it's someone that's going through a really rough time, having, a, having trouble, um, you know, they might even appear kind of mean, um, all of that, but they're, they're facing um, their demon. So that is the Dark Knight of the Soul. And then, um, I'm saying good things about you to uh, my friends. So again, this can be divine masculine or divine feminine, just or your soulmate or someone you're thinking about. Um, you can, like I said, you can use this beyond just using as twin flame uh, messages. I'm saying good things about you to my friends. So this is person is talking about you in a very positive way. So they're talking about you. They might be talking about, you know, you know, how you guys vibe or, you know, how good you are together or what you guys did in the past. But they're saying positive things about you. 
uh, transportation issues. So this could be um, issues in traveling. This could indicate some type of a distance in between the two of you uh, where, you know, one is um, maybe living out of state or they're not able to come to you because of, you know, they might even have car issues, but there's an issue involving traveling or some type of movement. And I feel the highest high, like a roller coaster when I'm with you. So this is that ultimate feeling where you just feel like you are just flying. This person is making you feel like you can just do anything. You're ready to face anything. You are, you are just um, feeling just so high, like that adrenaline rush um, that you get from like a roller coaster feeling. I personally don't like roller coasters. <laughs> I've been on um, them in the past, you know, really by accident because I thought they weren't going to be that scary and they were, but you get what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> so um, I love everything about you. So this is a person that it just loves everything about you. They love you, you in your rarest form, your raw form. They love you um, when you're playing. Um, if you're a female, they love you without your makeup, even sometimes even more so uh, than with makeup. Um, just all of that. They just love little everything about you, your smile. Um, just just you almost like can't do any anything wrong basically to them when you're in their presence. I want to re uh, reunite with you. So this is someone that wants to come into reunion with you. They want to get together. They want this is basically kind of like my union card. They want to come back together. Um, that's pretty much it. How I say that. Also keep in mind these cards can, um, you know, based on your own energy, you might find that these cards pick up. A different type of energy for you and mean more things because um, I have cards that they have a traditional meaning but then there's an intuitive meaning that I get from it as well that's outside of the the normal situation so you'll find that when you use these that you know uh, the basic meaning will work with you but then you're going to pick up uh, your own energy with it I'm thinking about a time we spent together. So this is your person. They're thinking about maybe there was a time you guys, you know, took a trip together, you know, maybe a getaway. Maybe you guys were, um, you did a, a, a staycation or you went to an, a hotel or, you know, just anything like that. Whenever you spend, it could have been at home. It could have been at a restaurant, but they're thinking about a time that you guys actually spent together. So they're having a positive memories. I almost picked up the phone to call you. So this is your uh, person uh, thinking about it. And they might even got to the phone. They might even pick the phone up and started to, but then just got afraid to do it. Got too much in their head and just didn't do it. You're my happily ever after. So this person sees you as their ultimate happiness that you, you just make them happy in every way possible that, you know, they couldn't have imagined. OK, you basically are everything they uh, uh, didn't know that that they ever wanted type of energy. The silence is killing me. So this is a um, uh, energy where your person is. They don't like the uh, that you guys are not in communication, not knowing what's going on, not knowing what the situation and that silence is killing them. It's not your fault. So this is somebody that might have blamed you um, or made you feel like it was your fault. And they're clearly letting you know that it was not your fault. It might have had to do. It might have been their fault. It might have had to do with someone else. But it was definitely not your fault. I want to hold you and feel you so badly. So this is someone that is really craving your your touch, your skin to skin contact, um, your body, your lips, just human contact they, they're wanting to fill you financial situation so this is uh your person is going through some type of um uh, situation that involves finances um money problems um it could even be tied into work um not being able to do anything because it could be waiting on money or money is a problem, but it's something tied to uh, the physical um, world. I don't know why I can't stay away from you. So this is your person that is trying to stay away from you and 
they are fighting it with their every being, but they just keep feeling drawn to you. They feel in this, this draw to you, like this cord, this tie that just won't let up. And they just, they're finding that they can't and that this battle is something that they feel that they eventually are going to lose. I'm pretending not to care. So this is your person that is just, um, you might even seen them in person or um, they, you might not have any type of contact or anything and they're pretending not to care even though they do. So even if you see them in person and they just not showing any emotions, but you can kind of tell, you know, and then um, they're letting you know they're pretending not to care, but they do. I don't know how to approach you. So uh, this is your person trying to figure out how do they approach you? They haven't figured it out. They don't know how to approach you. They're just really, again, in their head about it, trying to figure out how do they make how do they make contact? How do they come forward? And they might have even thought of scenarios and they just haven't figured it out. OK, but they're they're in their head thinking about it. What are you doing to me? Um, so this is an energy of feeling like that you have some kind of magic spell over them. You have this this charm, this this lure, this just, you know, just a magic about you that is just unresistible. They you, they're just can't resist you. And they're like, so they're saying, what are you doing to me? Like, what do you have that's different from everybody else? I'm keeping an eye on you. So this is your person watching you. You know, they could be watching you in ways that you're not even aware of. They could be watching you on social media, of course. Um, they could be watching you from a distance. Um, if you guys are in the same, you know, neighborhood, a community, a workplace, but they're, they're keeping an eye on you from a distance. Okay. You might even uh, catch them sometimes. Work situation. So this is a... Uh, um, uh, where you guys might work together um, or you might, it could also be like uh, work. Somebody could be trying to work on the situation, but this card is more designed for people that is involved in a, a career uh, environment where you guys work in the same field or work in the same place. Pawn situation. So this is when someone is kind of using something um, as a tool to either hinder somebody, hold them back. So it's a very negative um, energy. So this could be like um, uh, children, um, things, you know, it's kind of almost like a blackmail kind of an energy where this person is um, using uh, a tactic or a person or a thing to um, hinder the person. This is a very uh, karmic energy. I love you more than I thought possible. So this is uh, someone that's realizing um, that they love you, even if they thought that they didn't, that, and that they love you more than they even thought that was possible. Um, this is also like somebody that might even been in denial about the connection, but they definitely uh, realize that they love you more than they thought possible. And that, you know, could uh, scare them, but they've come to a realization of it the way I was raised so this is a factor where someone's upbringing is affecting um, the connection affecting that person from growing um, they could have had people around them that told them this is how you know you're supposed to be or this is how a family's supposed to be or this is how you're supposed to act towards a man or how you're supposed to act towards a woman or how you're supposed to raise children um, anyway it was it's basically based on pre-programming, uh, you know, uh, programmed energy. Socialized belief, basically. I don't want to lose you again. So this card is for like uh, uh, so people uh, specifically that um, have been uh, in a connection maybe more than, you know, more than once, at least twice, where there was a breakup at least twice, okay? Or the situation happened twice of a loss again twice and they basically they don't want to lose you again 
for the second time or the third time, but it's a multiple thing. It's something that's happened uh, in repetition. You are very attractive. So this person, this is an energy of this person finding you very, very attractive. They might have even said this to you. Uh, you could tell like how they look in um, your eyes, um, how they see you, how they view you. And it's just a very um, passionate, um, honest, warm energy. Children situation. So this could involve children obviously okay this can involve children your children their children or um, them being concerned about children um, it could be also past uh, children's situation or anything that is surrounding children um, uh, past or present maybe even uh, future twin flames so that is pretty much uh, self Planetary. Um, it's a twin flame connection um, involved um, in the, the reading that you're doing. Okay. Someone is acknowledging that there's a twin flame, they feel it's a twin flame or it's a twin flame factor in the in the reading. I can't get you off my mind. So this is someone that just um is uh constantly thinking about you. You know, they wake up thinking about you, they go to sleep thinking about you, think about you throughout the day. Uh, you know, it's just they they unable to get you off their mind. If you give me another chance, I promise to make things right. So this person is wanting to make things right for something that they've done uh, between you and they're wanting forgiveness. So this is a forgiveness card and they're hoping that you're going to give them that opportunity to make things right constant reminders of you so this can be synchronicities uh, this could be numbers this could be seeing their name this could be um, their card this could be TV shows um, uh, dreams you know clothing anything that's reminding you of the person um, this is someone that's getting constant reminders of you you know especially uh, maybe even in that particular day unable to communicate so this is somebody that um, uh, may want to communicate, but they're unable to communicate for whatever reasons. Uh, they could be uh, tied to a karmic, um, still in a low vibrational energy, or they could have been um, forbidden, maybe um, through legal means not to communicate, or they're just, you know, physically unable to communicate uh, for some other, you know, outside factor, you know, maybe not having access to a phone or anything like that. Karmic partner issues. So this is a third third party energy, um, someone that might be involved with a karmic partner or they're having problems with a karmic partner, kind of like either baby, baby mama or baby daddy drama, um, that kind of an energy, but there's some type of karmic uh, partner involved in the equation. I'm gathering courage to face my fears. So you're, this is the energy of your person, um, not yet ready, but trying to uh, gather the courage to face the things that they're afraid of, uh, maybe in this connection or just, you know, making a move, you know, being uh, independent, anything that is stopping them from, you know, facing their fears. Your smile lights up my world. So this is a person that is thinking about how your smile just makes them so happy, happy and it's just such a bright uh, energy and just makes them feel alive in my feelings right now. So this is someone that's uh, really going through it. They're feeling sad. They're feeling emotional. They might be crying. They might feel like they don't want to get out of their bed. They're not feeling like, you know, how to handle it, what to do, but it's a very sad energy. I've been looking at your photos. So this is someone that might be going through some old um, pictures that you guys might have had or shared. Um, this could be in their phone. They could be looking at them online or maybe some other people have pictures. Uh, but they're definitely uh, been looking at your photos in some way or another. Stress the F out. Okay. So this is someone that is really stressed the fuck out basically okay so they that means they are going through some serious energy you know maybe they're fighting maybe they're having money problems 
maybe, um, you know, they're having, you know, some issues with parenting or codependent, uh, co-parenting issues, but they are, it is, it is crazy. It's, it's just a, you know, very, a bad, um, energy. I've changed. So this person, um, is letting you know that they've changed. However, you, uh, seen them before they've changed, um, from that energy and they've, uh, changed, uh, for the better, at least hopefully but they've, they've changed. Okay. They're, they're not the same person uh, that you remember. They've been affected by it. The connection I'm going through some things. So this is your person kind of like letting you know that they're not ready because they're, they're going through some things. Um, you know, uh, currently whatever that means for them, whether, you know, it's just, you know, stress or people or situation or finances, but they're going through something. I feel really bad for how I treated you. So this is, um, your person, um, you know, in this energy of regret, um, that they did something wrong to you. They, you know, might've just, you know, uh, blocked you, stopped talking to you, you know, not had any answers or, you know, ran, whatever it is. Um, that's, they feel really bad for how they treated you. Divorce situation. So this is someone that is actually, um, going through a divorce, contemplating divorce, or, you know, divorce has already taken place and it's affecting them from coming forward. But the, the, the energy is involving a divorce. I miss you much. So this is someone that is just really, really missing you, wanting to be around you, wanting to see you, wanting to talk to you, just really missing you a whole lot. Obsessive overthinking. So um, this is someone that is uh, really obsessively uh, overthinking uh, the situation between you, overanalyzing it, just way too much in their head about it, having extreme anxiety about what to do, what not to do, how to come forward or, or what, but they're obsessively overthinking the situation. You made me want to become a better person. So this is someone that is acknowledging that your connection made them want to be better. It made them want to improve. It just made them want to change their ways. I'm weighing the pros and cons. So this is your person that is in this energy and they're looking at the pros and the cons of whether to come forward uh, uh, towards you to either have a conversation or to make an offer or whatever it is, they're weighing the pros and cons and they're trying to see if there's more pros or there's more cons into communicating or to come forward or making an offer towards you. Um, that's what they're doing. I want to reach out to you, but I'm afraid you will reject me. So this is somebody that's just clearly scared. Okay. They're scared. Uh, they're worried about their ego right now. And they're just, you know, needing the courage to just, uh, come forward and just reach out to you because they're just not so sure that you're going to accept whatever they're saying. Separation situation. So this could be, um, a separation situation between you and your person or your person could be going through separation with another person, um, but there is a separation issue, okay, that is taking place with you or them with someone else. My past really did a number on me, but I'm healing. So this is like uh, someone that has been affected by things that people have said to them, the way that people have treated them. You know, maybe they um, were abandoned as a child or was left to fend on their own, uh, forced to be um, living like an adult um, and not a child. And it affected them in the way that they're thinking, but they're coming to realize this energy and they're um, starting to heal from it and they're wanting to heal from it. I have to sort some things out. So this is your, the energy of your person has, um, some business to take care of. Um, this could be, you know, anything, whatever it is that they're, they're doing, but they're, they're having to sort some things out. Maybe they're sorting things out, uh, with a, another person or, uh, their finances or their, their living situation or some paperwork, anything, but there's something that they're needing to sort out. So they just have to focus on that at this time. 
I'm sorry I let my pride get in the way. So this is a person acknowledging that their pride and ego was a factor and they're really sorry about that. So it's a very regretful energy and they're realizing that they just had, you know, too much, too much pride. I'm trying to figure this out. So this is your person trying to figure out how to fix whatever it is in between the two of you. Trying to figure it out, trying to figure out the best approach, the best plan, how to come forward. They're trying to figure it out. I never thought we would be apart this long. So this is your your person uh, thinking that um, that the it's been a long time. So this is my card of someone that has been uh, in separation at least six months or longer, and you know probably even like a year, but definitely at least six months or longer. Um, that you never thought that separation would be this long and. Um, it's just now you're thinking about how you might have uh, done things differently. You're in my head. So again, this is uh, your person just really heavily. You are in their head. You might be speaking to them. You might be talking to them, saying things, things that you've said to them is like replaying over in their head. You're talking to me in, in my dreams. So your person is seeing you in their dream. They're getting messages from you in their dreams. You're communicating to them. You know, whatever you may be saying, you guys could be talking about getting together or you could be communicating how you feel, but you're speaking to them in 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 their dreams. So this is telepathic um, communication that is coming forth in the dream. Allowing myself to be controlled by another person. So this is somebody that is willing, willingly allowing themselves to be controlled by another person. So a toxic situation, you know, it could be a love relationship. It could be a family member, you know, a parent, a friend, but they're allowing this to take place. Like they're, they're not being held hostage. They're allowing it to take place. They may be aware of it, but they just may not have enough courage to get out of it. But they're allowing it. Okay, they're volunteering it. I never felt this happy with anyone the way I feel with you. So this is someone that is recognizing that there's something different about you. That this type of happiness is different. It's a different type of um, happiness that they've never felt with anybody else. You are consuming my thoughts. So this, again, is an energy of mental or this person is constantly thinking about you and it's, it's consuming them like so much that is driving them crazy. They just, you want to break from it. They just, you know, want to take a break, but it's just, it's, it's a heavier energy than the other cards where it's just consuming like that day it, or it's just, you know, like the majority just can't shake it off. You are very special to me. So this is someone that's acknowledging how special this connection is that you're different you are not like anybody else this is a special very special connection healing myself so this is someone that is healing from something healing uh, from maybe what they've gone through healing from something someone else did to them but they're healing or healing their way of thinking or you know healing their body their mind and their spirit unfinished conversations so this is some somebody that wants to finish this conversation. They realize that you guys left on a note where things were just unsettled. It was not closed. And there's something you guys need to complete. You need to have that conversation. I'm wide awake now. So this is something, this is the energy of awakening. Um, also with this, I'm um, wide awake. This someone is wide awake to a situation. It can be wide awake to someone using them or wide awake to the connection, but whatever it is, they're woke now. They're, they're wide awake. I just can't stop loving you. So this person, they've tried and they just realized they just can't, they just can't stop loving you. This is also just like, I never really talk about this on my channel, but I'm a huge uh, Michael Jackson fan all my life. So this is like the, uh, one of the lyrics uh, from the song or song uh, title. But this is where I, I got this from. Also, the other card, I Miss You Much, is a, reminds, uh, is a Janet Jackson reference. Okay, so I'm just letting you guys know that. And um, 
yeah, that's it. That's what I'm going to say. Um, I can no longer fight um, this connection. So this is somebody that's realizing that they can no longer fight this connection. They've tried. They try to stop thinking about you. They've tried to, you know, get you out of their head. They try to focus on other things, maybe even other people. And they just realize they just can't fight it. It's just is what it is. I'm getting the help that I need. So this is somebody that's actually either seeking a mentor or counseling or something of that nature, but they're getting the help that they need working on themselves, going inward, you know, Herman energy going within, but they're getting the help that they need. I'm planning to contact you. So this is someone that is uh, planning on reaching out, contacting you by communication. So by phone, text, you know, uh, internet, you know, online or just even showing up. They're, they're planning on contacting you. Losing sleep over you. So this is someone that's uh, up uh, late at night trying to go to sleep and then they just pop up and, and uh, you just pop up in their head and they just can't and they try to shake you off and it just almost like it's just they can't shake you, you know, they just, just can't shake you. And it might be uh, having flashes of you know, times you guys might have spent together, even in a sexual way. You resonate with my soul. So this person fills you on just a deep spiritual soul level. They know that they have a soul connection with you. I keep hearing or seeing your name. So this is someone that is they're seeing your name. They're hearing your name. They Someone is calling out their name. You, you turn, you hear in their name. Um, they're seeing it, you know, like I said, uh, it could be on TV, you know, it could be on the news, it could be shows, but you're, you're just seeing it. It's just like constantly seeing it. This even could be, you know, just something familiar of them outside party roadblock. So this is an outside factor that's blocking the connection at, at the time. This could be things that they're uh, a tie to, but, um, it's an energy of something that's out of their control. This could be just, you know, anything, um, something that's stopping it. It could be a legal situation or, or someone's actions that's stopping it, but it's something out of their control. Like they have no control over it, you know, of the situation could be just like, like this, like what we're going through in this, um, uh, quarantine, of an outside party situation that is uh, forcing you to, you know, not be able to do anything. I heard a song today and it was you speaking to me. So this is, um, the energy of your, your person heard a song and it was like word for word. Um, they were speaking to you through that song and it just really, they knew it was you. It just was connected to you. They just knew it and they just know it. I've been trying to forget about you, but I can't. So this is uh, energy of this person is they just, they try, you know, they, they just try and, and they just can't. Um, and they just keep trying to forget you, but they just cannot. When I saw you, it was no coincidence. So this is the energy of you've actually seen this person physically and you wonder, was that a coincidence? Um, it wasn't that person planned it. They it just might have made it look like it was a coincidence, but they, they didn't. They planned it. Legal situation. So this is someone that is involved in an uh, actual legal situation and in, involving documents, paperwork, court matters um, could be tied to divorce or separation or child custody um, issues or, you know, property issues, um, anything like that. Lawsuits. I'm sorry, I'm not there for you now. So this is a person realizing they're not there for you and they're sorry, but they're just not able to do anything about it or they, just because maybe whatever they're going through mentally, they don't have the courage or they're not able to, but they're just not able to be for, there for you at the current time. Um, it's painful to not be with you right now. So this person is like just actually feeling that heartbreak, that heartache, the pain of not being able to just be in your presence. 
I drove by your house recently. So this is someone that, you know, they actually physically drove by your house or they drove by your area and was thinking about you when they did it. They had intentions to kind of drive in that area, uh, maybe even possibly to run into you, but they obviously didn't come to your house, but they drove by it. I want to escape with you. So this is someone that's really wanting to get away. They're thinking about it. They are just tired of, you know, all of whatever the stress or the situation they're in. And they're just, they wanting to get away with you, uh, possibly on a vacation, but they're wanting to get away with you. And then the last card is your intuition is right. So this is a card of whatever you were thinking about when it comes to your person or the situation, like, was that, did they do that because of, or is this about this? And that card pops up after you thought about it. That's saying your intuition is right. Okay. All right. So you guys, so that's a, um, a walkthrough of my card. So now I'm going to go ahead and do like a mini reading here to show you how you can use these cards in your um, connection or, um, you know, in your twin flame connection or um, any connection. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, shuffle these cards through. And then I'm going to use these other cards I've already shuffled. So I'm just um, not going to shuffle them the way that I'm shuffling these. But I'm going to just go ahead and show you how um, you can uh, example of this reading. So basically, this is um, your person's uh, energy. Uh, you, the person watching right now, of how you can uh, use these cards. And then also how um, uh, energy your person is currently uh, feeling right now or going through. I'm going to get three cards. These are the romance angels. We have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So someone is hiding something. They could be hiding their feeling or actually uh, uh, hiding, you know, some type of deception. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So someone could be hiding that, you know, they want to express their love that, that they want to communicate. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So someone could be hiding that they want to express that they want to work on this partnership. Uh, they're hiding it. Okay. And someone is wearing a false mask. So let's just go ahead and get five cards from my uh, deck. Intuitive Envisions 1111 Twin Flame Messages. I'm going to just go ahead and get five. Separation Situation. So someone could be hiding that they're um, um, separated. Okay, they're in a separation situation or they want to hide the separation. They no longer want to be in it. Dark night of the soul. Um, this devil energy could be dealing with Capricorn. Uh, someone could be hiding that they're, you know, going through the dark night of the soul. Um, some type of deception, you know, a very dark uh, time, a very heavy energy. Or involved with someone that is in this energy, a toxic energy. I'm saying good things about you to my friends. Okay. So this also could be passion. This could, um, because this person is saying good things to uh, you, um, good things about you to their friends. So they're communicating. They might be hiding this, hiding this passion or hiding that this, this separation is a very dark, heavy energy. And they want to communicate. They might, and their friends might be telling that they should give the relationship a chance. I never thought we would be apart this long. So they're realizing the separation, the separation, it might even be causing them to have gone through this dark night of the soul, this realization from the separation. And one more. work situation. So this is somebody that you uh, might be uh, working with, or they might want to work on the situation. They might want to work on the separation issue because we do have this um, express your love energy and give your um, partnership uh, a chance. So let's go ahead and get some uh, further information here. So these are the um, Gilded Tarot. Tell me more about the separation situation. We have the um, Three of Wands. This is about um, 
waiting for your ships to come in this is a um, also can be about moving forward so I will see um, someone might be moving forward hiding that they're moving forward with a separation from something and that's toxic um, as well so let me see why this dark knight of the soul is here death yeah okay so a major transformation is going on here um this is uh endings and new beginnings so i'm feeling like somebody is hiding that they um are going uh through possibly a separation uh, situation they're moving forward they're they're hiding this energy um this this um toxic energy they no longer want to be in this it's kind of what i'm getting this is scorpio energy too so you could be dealing with scorpio So we have the Knight of Swords under I'm saying good things about you to my friends. So this is the Knight of Swords is a chaotic energy, but it's also about truth, communication about the truth. So this person might be thinking about um, your, your person might be thinking to um, come forward uh, quickly with the truth about something that they've been hiding from you, that they have uh, been going through the dark night of the soul because of the separation, either a separation with another person or the separation um, between the, uh, the two of you. I never thought we would be apart this long. So we have the 10 of swords. So this was a very painful ending. Okay, very, very painful ending. This person is very is hiding um, this energy. We have the death card and then we have this uh, ten of swords. So this person is really going through something, a really uh, hard time, uh, dark night of the soul um, over this ending um, and not expressing um, their love for you is what I'm also getting from this um, relationship. And um, it's, yeah, it's caused them to go through a major uh, dark night of the soul, the separation, okay, because they didn't communicate um, that they wanted to work on, on the situation. All right, let me get another card. So you yeah, have the four of cups. So this is like a very, very heavy energy. Um, that this your person is uh, going through. Um, Four of Cups is feeling rejected, um, feeling um, missing out on an opportunity. It's also about uh, contemplation. So there, whoever um, uh, this this it resonates with, they're going through some very tough energy because possibly they rejected working on the situation and and um, being in this this energy. Um, and as a result, they've gone through a very, very painful um, ending, okay, uh, or feeling a lot of pain from this connection is what I'm getting here, okay. So you can uh, um, also take this a little bit further. Um, I'm going to use the Mystic Moon Oracles and see if um, I get any additional uh, messages in the separation situation. Why is the Three of Wands here under the separation situation? Divine masculine. Yep. So this is the divine masculine situation. So he is possibly hiding um, that he is uh, waiting on a separation situation uh, to go through or hiding that he is going through a separation situation with a toxic energy, an ending. Tell me more about this death card under the dark night of soul. offer yeah so there's a major uh transformation uh going on here uh maybe uh this divine masculine could be hiding um uh, this offer or transforming this offer we do have this um three of wands here so in this express your love so i i feel like there's a major transformation in this energy of this uh, dark night of the soul energy that has been transformed from the separation. I'm going to go for further and see if there's more before I make a final here. 
why is the knight of swords here under um i'm saying good things about you to my friends reinvention so someone is reinventing this they're rethinking this they're rethinking about expressing um their uh communication uh towards you okay because of what they've gone through this this transformation here this separation this dark night of the soul um i'm feeling like they want to transform from this energy though with this offer here yeah if they're wanting to reinvent that this truth or there's a reinvention a re like a re uh discussion about how to come forward with this truth about the situation tell me more about this ten of swords under i never thought we would be apart this long and we have winter okay so someone is wanting winter here in the united states is in the past so this is something that has taken place um in the past um or uh, during the winter season okay but at any rate i'm feeling i'm getting this this energy that they're wanting to freeze this energy they're wanting to, they're wanting to hide this okay that's what i'm getting or for some of you this could have taken place in uh, uh winter months so december um january uh february oh, we're we're in march oh and a little until uh march time because now we're in spring here in the united states so yeah so tell me about this four of cups in this uh work situation solitude yeah someone is feeling alone and isolated um and rejected and they just i'm feeling like they don't they don't want to be uh in this energy because we have this um give your relationship a chance there's one they're wanting to work on this work on this feeling of feeling lone and lonely 